view there. Well, Peaky Blinders creator Stephen Knight is here along with actor Natasha O'Keefe who plays Lizzie Stark. Thanks for joining morning. us. Hello, good nice morning. to be here. Uh, Stephen, is it weird for you seeing this programme you created being such a, a, you know, a big part of the TV schedules now? It, it's astonishing. I mean, the, the effect it's had around the world is, is what surprises me the most. So yeah. the, the United States, South America, Russia, Turkey, all over the place, there is this sort of, um, I suppose, a community of interest where lots of people really love it and it's fantastic and it, I don't know the explanation for it. Uh, maybe it's because it's about family, I don't know, but it's, it's so gratifying, it really is. Yeah. And Natasha, with that in mind, you know, when you're travelling, I mean, you must end up in places where you sort of had no idea people would know who you are, but they are avid fans of it. Does it do you still find that strange? Um do you know what? I personally don't get recognised. I think old Wiggy helps. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, um, so that's kind of funny. I know a lot of people do get yeah. recognised, but um, yeah, I mean, if, if people do, it's I'm so proud to be part of it. So I'm. I'm and it's taken on a life of it. its own, hasn't it, in some respects? Because, as we said, you know, just growing seemingly overnight, <coughs> mm. and not only growing in popularity, but a sort of cult following. Yeah. And that's what's so, you know, people have such a connection with the show. I mean, do you feel that, playing that part, that you have a connection with the audience who are so invested in what happens to these characters? Yeah, well, uh, me playing the part of Lizzie, I've come from, you know, being the, the street urchin. How did you come up with all of this in the first place? Well, it's sort of based on... I've, I've wanted to tell this story for quite a long time. Uh, my parents were born and brought up in Small Heath in Birmingham, and they told me stories about what life was like, and it was nothing like what you read in the history books. And they were kids when they witnessed this. And my mum was a bookies runner when she was nine years old because they used kids to yeah. take bets. And all. My dad's uncles were illegal bookmakers. And so when they were kids, obviously, everything was big and glamorous and, and fantastic. So they mythologised what was around them, even though it was a, pretty, you know, a very desperately poor suburb of Birmingham. And then when they told me, I mythologised it a second time. And so it was sort of doubly mythologised. And what I wanted to do with the series is not ever take that away is to make it a heightened world make it almost as if it's been seen through the eyes of a kid and and you know really do i think what the americans do with their history which is they they turn it into something other than what it probably was like westerns mm. and chicago gangsters mm. you know and and to do that without embarrassment um and we were looking at that, you know, the intro there. It is epic to look at the yeah. landscapes, the <coughs> costumes, the lighting. Um, you know, Natasha, when you step on set, do you really feel that you're transformed into that world that you know actually makes your job much easier because everything around yes. you tells you where you should be? It's, it's, yeah. You put on that costume. You've got old Wiggy, as I was talking about <laughs> earlier, like a close um, friend of yours, a close <laughs> friend, me and her, tight. Um, yeah, it, it obviously it has. It means everything. You you walk on, and the sets are so. They've got life going through them, even though you've set. You're stepping onto an actual set. It really yeah. feels like you're in that garrison, in that pub, um, or wherever it, it is that the. The, the cult so. following fascinates me as well because I've got a, a friend whose teenage son went to a fancy dress party dressed as a Peaky Blinder, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, "Oh my God, this is it, you know it kind of goes through the generations mm. as well." And now you, 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 there's even going to be a Peaky Blinders festival as well as part of all of this, isn't there? That's right. I mean, it's because of this, because of that um, following. You know, a friend of mine uh, was telling me that they were in Panama, and the barman in Panama, in Panama, right? said he was saving up enough money to get to Birmingham because he wanted to see the streets where people were. And so because of that, because of this sort of uh, investment that a lot of people have in the show and, you know, for, for all of these years they've been doing their own thing, they've been doing tattoos and graffiti and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, fan art and things like that, which, which I follow and really, really love. Because of that, we've decided to put on a festival, which is on the 14th and 15th of September in Digbeth in Birmingham, which is the right next to Small Heath and in Digbeth is the, the area where the Peaky Blinders yeah. used to drink and so it's bringing it home and it's going to be live music with a fantastic array of music talent uh, it's going to be theatre poetry uh, ballet Rombert have uh, created a Peaky Blinders ballet which they're going to be forming Excellent. on the streets and on the main stage. And a lot of people dressed up, I imagine, yeah. well. Well, it's not... It's, no one has to dress up, but if they want to dress up, they certainly oh, can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People love will. it. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's going to be... And there's uh, street food and bars and all of those things. And, and we've got Primal Scream, Anna Calvi, Mike Skinner in the streets, plus many, many more, and quite some 
huge surprise. Yeah, excellent. Oh, well, thank you very much for coming in to uh, chat to us and good luck with the next series. Dying to I'm excited. About the series, but I'm not going to ruin anything. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> nice to see you, everyone. Thanks very much. Yeah, and the new series, uh, Series 5, of course, of Peaky Blinders, will be on BBC One soon.